All right, let's go ahead and find the derivative using implicit differentiation. So this isn't going to be a very difficult problem, but we do have fractional exponents that we have to be careful of. So as we get going on this, we're going to take the derivative of each term individually as we normally would. So the first one, we have x to the 2 fifths power. We're going to bring the 2 fifths down. And we have our x. Now we need to reduce that exponent by 1. So a little bit of side work here. Let's think to ourselves, we have 2 fifths minus 1. But we're going to rewrite this so it's 5 over 5. Right, remembering that we want to subtract 1, but keeping a common denominator is a good idea. So we're going to get negative 3 fifths for our new exponent. All right, that's negative 3 fifths in our exponent. Now we could put a dx, dx with this because our variable was x, but dx over dx makes 1, so we don't really need to include that. Next, let's move on to the next term. We have our y to the 2 fifths. Very similar. We're going to bring the 2 fifths down. We're going to reduce the exponent by 1, so that exact same thought process, 2 fifths minus 5 fifths makes negative 3 fifths. This time we will go ahead and include a dy dx with this problem, right? Because our variable is y, we're differentiating with respect to x. On the right hand side, the derivative of a constant is going to be 0. So let's go ahead and include 0 on the right hand side. Now we could do all this leaving our negative exponents. I'm going to choose to go ahead and rewrite these as we go. I can say this is 2 over 5. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that x to the negative 3 fifths. We can move it down to the denominator. Think of it as x to the positive 3 fifths. Same thing over here. And this is kind of optional. We can say y to the positive 3 fifths. But we are still going to have the dy dx over here the zero over on the right hand side. Now a little bit of rearranging, remember the end goal here is get dy dx on one side by itself. So the next thing I'm gonna do is move the term that has the x. So I'm gonna keep the two over five y to the three fifths, dy dx on the left hand side. And I'm gonna go ahead and subtract the two over five x to the positive three fifths that's going to move over to the right hand side by subtracting it over. And what remains is we still need to isolate the dy dx. Well, it's connected with multiplication right now, but to eliminate this, I'm going to go ahead and first think about getting rid of our fraction. We're going to have to multiply both sides by five and by y raised to the three over five. All right, and doing it on the right hand side, we're going to be multiplying by five y to the three over five power. Thinking on the left hand side, we're multiplying by 5 and the dividing by 5 cancel. Multiplying by y to the 3 fifths, dividing by y to the 3 fifths. These are like inverse operations. They're going to make a 1. And then we also still need to get rid of that 2. Let's go ahead and divide by 2 and divide by 2 on this side. The dividing by 2 will cancel out this. 2 over 2 is going to make a 1. That's going to isolate the dy dx on the left hand side. Let's think about what we end up with on the right hand side. Well, we have a 2 in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. So those are gone, right? They, 2 over 2 makes 1. We have 5 in the numerator, 5 in the denominator. 5 over 5 makes 1. So what remains? Well, we have a negative from out in front. We have a y to the positive 3 over 5 in the numerator. And we have an x to the positive 3 over 5 in the denominator. If you so chose, you could rewrite this as the fifth root of y to the third power and the fifth root of x to the third power if you wanted to. We could do a little rationalizing on top of that, but that's a pretty good uh, derivative where we are right now with the dy over dx on one side all by itself. So I hope this helps out as you're working on implicit differentiation and finding those derivatives. Good luck.